Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Manti. We continue our conversation now with Congressman Chris Smith from the 4th District of New Jersey. You're a Republican. These are troubled times, I would think, for the Republican Party in, uh, in Washington because there is an impeachment inquiry. There's so many questions. There's, yeah. some, there's, a new, there's something new that comes up every day. Um, did, you, did you vote for the, uh, the... You didn't even get a oh, chance no. to vote for well, the inquiry. No, we, we've had several votes on the impeachment. Um, some votes were straight up. Uh, Congressman Green had one in July, uh, and I voted. It was tabled. The Democrats didn't even want to have an up or down vote. Twice in the last week, a little past a week now, uh, the minority leader, Kevin McCarthy, offered a resolution that says, you know, the speaker doesn't have the authority to unilaterally launch an impeachment inquiry. It's got to be done by an act of Congress. Well, and that's what happened. Does it, where does that authority come from? Because a lot of people say it's not in the Constitution. It's not in the Constitution, but it's in rules and procedures that we've followed in the past with Nixon, with Clinton. You know, you need to have a robust debate in both the committee, that would be the uh, Judiciary Committee, then they mark it up, and it's pre predictable what they're going to say. They're going to want to have a, a patient inquiry, and then put it on the House floor, and let's have a full-fledged debate. But that was all bypassed in a way that I've never seen, and I think it does grave injury. I mean, some people absolutely hate Donald Trump, and they're, they can like or dislike him all they want, but that doesn't constitute grounds for impeachment. High crimes and misdemeanors are the grounds for impeachment. And, and to, you know, after the Mueller report, report and I've read it, um, you know, I thought something might come out of that because there was, there was such certainty on the part of people uh, that Donald Trump had colluded with the Russians. Uh, I didn't think it was true, but I said, you know, we got so much going here, maybe there was something there. And sure enough, the Mueller report says there wasn't. Uh, and then but the, what about this transcript? Does this trouble you? I read the transcript three times. Um, you know, the, the president has been focusing on getting other countries to, to provide aid to first NATO, he's been the big pusher on how the European countries are, are AWOL, including Germany, when it comes to doing their fair share for the NATO, which we primarily fund. Uh, so it protects Europe, it protects us too, but it protects Europe more than anyone else. And, and he's, it's been a common theme. But that, you know what I'm specifically but, no, no, asking let me get to about. So, so in that, that, that uh, interview that, that was released, uh, and the phone call, uh, he's talking about Andrea Merkel in Germany not doing their fair share vis-a-vis -vis Ukraine. Uh, and, you know, the, the New York Times said that there was no quid pro quo. You know, maybe they'll backtrack on that. Who knows? But, you know, you don't allege something speculative. But should he have even brought up Joe Biden in that uh, phone call? Uh, maybe that was a bad judgment, but that's not impeachable. And, you know, I have questions about Joe Biden that don't even go to the heart of what he's done with his son or may have done with his son, um, you know, with the two countries that he was involved with. You know, when, when um, Portachenko came to the joint session of Congress from Ukraine and said, I am under siege, there's a paraphrase, but this is close to a quote, but I can't fight a war with blankets. The previous administration would not help the Ukrainians defend themselves with the kind of deterrence uh, that a bully like Putin would understand. Uh, that's changed under Trump. Now, when, you know, so, so this is policy stuff. So, so this is you, policy so, stuff. Where do you think this goes now? Well, I think there will be a lot of acrimony. Uh, I think, you know, they're going to keep asking the same question. Some people in the media will just amplify the message as if it's a done deal. But now the newest thing is a public opinion has shifted and all of that. You don't impeach anyone, a Democrat or a Republican, because of public opinion. If you impeach, it's because of high crimes and misdemeanors. Otherwise, we become like a lot of other countries uh, where, you know, the, the judiciary is used and the courts are used uh, as a political weapon. Uh, and, and, you know, people do things that if there's something there, uh, we all want to know it. But you don't think it's ever going to get to the point where you have to vote on articles of impeachment? Oh, I think it's going to get there. I you think, do. So I think this is, this is already set in motion. What happens to moderate Democrats in swing districts? Because there's five of them in New Jersey. Yeah. It shouldn't matter. If he is impeachable, if he has done high crimes and misdemeanors, moderate Democrats in swing districts or anyone else should vote to impeach. But it's not there. They're trying desperately to find something that will be there. When did that become the preoccupation? Before he even got elected, uh, uh, sworn in, there was also already talk of impeachment, and that's where the collusion with Russian, uh, Russia came in. Um, you, know, you, you just can't... You know, if the Mueller report had said high crimes and misdemeanors, he'd be impeached. 
it would be right to do it. Where is it? I'm, now, I'm sorry, uh, I keep focusing on the politics of it. I understand yeah. it's more but, but important that's my, than that. But, but I think I think it's very important to say it doesn't matter if they're in swing states, swing districts. I mean, or swing states if it's a senator, it should be about what's in front of us. Is there high crimes and misdemeanors? If there are, that's what your vote should be. Depend yeah. no, no matter what Regardless. the politics. Regardless, exactly. Got it. Thank you, sir. Always Thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you, Congressman exactly. Chris Smith from the fourth congressional district in New Jersey. Jersey Matters continues right after this. When Jersey Matters continues, we'll take you to a new Bruce Springsteen exhibit that isn't open long. We'll give you details when we come right back.